Hi guys! In this special episode of The Last of Us Part 2, we're gonna talk about Ellie and Dean. You're infuriating. Have you met you? Here's what we know so far. We know that Dina is a popular girl. She's, uh, it's been on quite the show. She hooked up with Jesse, one of the patrol leaders, for quite a long time, as Ellie only gives them two weeks before they're back together. Make it one week. Ellie and Dina have been best friends for several years now. Let's not forget that the story takes place five years later, which gave Joe and Ellie plenty of time to settle in, so these girls know each other very well. They will know one another even better after the festival. Since Ellie is definitely not a party girl, Dina made sure she would be there. What took you so long? Oh, I'm here, aren't I? In order to invite her to a dance. That's exactly where the love story began. How about that? Gross. <laughs> when they shared their first kiss. The next day, Ellie decides to join one of Jesse's patrols. Look who decided to join us. To spend more time with Dina. Their mission is to scavenge a supermarket. Is this part of the supermarket? I don't know. I think we're above it. At this point, Dina doesn't know that Ellie is immune. Masks on. Got it. Since she has to wear a mask in front of her. They'll come across some clickers. Those blind motherfuckers make my skin crawl. Let's make sure the rest of the building's cleared out. Fuck out of here. Speak in my language. They all come across some runners. <laughs> and Dina will save Ellie's life many times. After their adventure, they're gonna chill in an old abandoned library. That's when we'll see that Dina really wants to bring down Ellie's walls. Scale of 1 to 10. How would you rate our kiss from last night? At one point, Dina will give her bracelet to Ellie, because when Ellie will follow her path of revenge, she'll be wearing it. You can't stop this. I have to finish it. Now, let's talk a little bit about their profile. Let's start with Dina. She is the popular girl. She is outgoing. She is staring. She is definitely not scared of what people think. How bad do I smell? Like a hot pile of garbage? Oh, okay. <laughs> She's been with some guys. Yes, sir. And now, she wants to see if the grass is greener on the other side. If you know what I mean. She is instinctive. Her reflexing combat is one of the best. About Ellie now. She is kind of her opposite. She is reserved. A bit shy. But she can be a very funny and very stubborn girl. Remember, I don't want to have to shoot you in the face. Oh, that's so sweet. She is wary. She doesn't trust people easily, because as we know, she's been through a lot. She is stronger than she thinks. Especially with a bow and a machete. But she can use all types of guns too. She is very agile and flexible. So people better watch out. Let's talk about the different theories we have. Let's start with the one you must have guessed by now, which is Dina gets killed before Ellie's eyes. That's the most obvious theory according to the trailer. 
The day after they kissed at the festival, they go on a patrol together to collect some food and some pills from a supermarket. You know what you're gonna die? Dude, let me guess. You're gonna kill me? <laughs> Did I ruin your punchline? No. Maybe. Fuck you. The landscapes are snowy, the horses are cold. You guessed it, it's the winter season. All of a sudden, a snowstorm is coming, which makes it very difficult for our two scavengers. They eventually lose one another during this blizzard. Dino, where are you? Then the trailer shows us Ellie coming closer to a luxurious and mysterious chalet. She's looking for someone, someone she cares about. And the lights are on, someone's inside. She breaks into that house and follows a blood trail until she finds a gloomy door in the basement. She sneaks in, only to get restrained on the floor. She then watches someone she cares about Please stop. get killed before her eyes. According to the trailer, we have every reason to think that it is Dina. Since they kinda love each other, at the very least they've been flirting. And before that they've been best friends for several years. That's enough motivation to go rampage on her path of revenge to kill every last one of them. But, and that's a big but, wouldn't that be too obvious? Naughty Dog is known to have their secrets very well kept and they would just serve as the main plot in one of their trailers. I seriously doubt it. Neil Druckmann himself said that Dina will have a bigger role to play than we think. So, in my opinion, she won't just be the girl that got killed. Which leads us to another big question mark. If it's not Dina, then who could it be? Someone that would be close enough to Ellie to trigger that power of rage in her. Could it be Tommy? Could it be another old character? Or even a totally new one? Could it be because of her mom? We'll talk about the theories in a future episode. Since we're here to talk about Ellie and Dina, what if Dina really disappears during that blizzard? We might then only see her again in a far future. Maybe she'll help us escape from a certain death. Like one of those hero landing. Ellie! <laughs> At the right place. And at the right time. Or maybe she'll just stay safely at Jackson. Too afraid to join Ellie on her path of revenge. Or perhaps Ellie would just leave without her to protect her. That would also make sense. Which leaves us with one last theory. The most ambitious and plot twisty of them all. What if Dina became our enemy? What if she's somehow responsible for Ellie's tragic loss? What if she's connected to those dark cultists? What if she's part of the Seraphites? That would be a plot worthy of the last of us. Because let me remind you that the main theme of the second part is hate. Neil Druckmann said it himself. How far would you go to bring justice to the people you love? And you can't go further than having to kill someone you love. That's the end of this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it. And you can check out my other videos about The Last of Us Part 2 on my channel. Oh, and don't forget to tell us about your own theories in the comments. I'll see you guys on my next video.